This is the Lime Art Association, and I'm Lori Pavlos, the Executive Director. We were formed in 1914 by a group of artists who gathered at the Florence Griswold House next door. At that time, Old Lime was the premier artist colony in the country and the birthplace of American Impressionism. After exhibiting their work at the local library for a few years, the artists decided to build their own gallery, and the architect and artist Charles Platt designed a perfect exhibit space. So this gallery was built in 1921, and it's been in continuous use by the association since then. We just underwent a major exterior restoration, and we look fresh and new again, but we have the same spacious, skylit galleries that we've always had, perfect for viewing fine art. The Lime Art Association brings together professional and amateur artists, as well as lovers of fine art, for exhibitions, classes, workshops, and lectures. And each year in the fall, they all come together from palette to palette to enjoy great food, great art, and a really good party. I'm Leif Nilsson and I grew up in Old Lyme and I've been a member of the uh, Lyme Art Association for a number of years and uh, one day this summer Gary Parrington. Hello Gary. Leif. Hey. <laughs> hey. Good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you Nice my to friend. see you brother. Hey thanks. Gary uh, invited me to do a painting of the new the new face of the Lyme Art Association after the, the uh, renovations which was your your baby to raise the funds to it, do this job. It was our committee's efforts to do the job, and we appreciate you making a once in a lifetime commemorative painting of our new face, which is up to the highest bidder tonight, so we're hoping to raise a lot of money. Thank I you for so. that yeah, donation. I hope, I hope you make more than it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do, we do indeed. So at that time, there were flowers in the, in the, uh, in the, in the flower beds, and the sunlight was coming on the building and it was just beautiful. It was a gorgeous morning. And it was nice to be here at Old Lyme standing and having people drive by and say, Hey, Leif! <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nick Sapia. I'm the general contractor for the historical renovation here of the Lyme Art Association. Uh, we were selected uh, a year ago to restore the exterior of the building and it was uh, an honor to be selected and a rewarding process to work with the people at the Lyme Art Association and give back to the community and, and redo a, a structure that sits so prominently on Lyme Street here in Old Lyme. Tell me a little bit about the history and the renovation of the building. Well, the building's 100 years old. It was set up by Florence Griswold for the summertime painters and has developed into our local gallery. We sell art here. It hadn't been restored and we were in very bad shape. And the board asked to form a committee and we interviewed contractors and we found Nick Sapia and therefore we have a beautiful new looking building. We have, he was a wonderful man to work with and did a wonderful job on our old building and now we're hoping to stay this way for another hundred years.
Hello again, uh, I'm Gary with the Lime Art Association and it's always a great pleasure to introduce people who are supportive of the Lime Art Association, who really get it and are good participants in our endeavors. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Rick Stout of Benchmark Wealth Management. Um, this, this man and his firm are major sponsors for tonight's Palette to Palette. And what's also very interesting that goes on the financial, goes beyond the financial support is Rick loves art and he buys art here all the time. So Rick, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're very happy to be uh, again um, a, a sponsor for this event. Um, we're strong supporters of all things in our community. Um, and I have a particular bias towards all things art related in our community. Um, the, uh, the Art Association is a, a true heart of the, of the area, of the town, um, where it's geographically located, everybody passes by it and can enjoy it, and many things have flown from, uh, flowed from here uh, and uh, have enriched so many people both in the local area and throughout the country. Um, so thank you very much for having us uh, back again this year. And it's always good to have you. Thanks again. You bet. Mm -hmm.